Today we're going to look at how to create a simple photo gallery in Moodle and what we're going to do is um, take about six pictures and move them up to Moodle and then use a table to format them into a photo gallery. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my pictures and in my I've already created a folder that has my six pictures in it that I want to move up. I'm going to move these six pictures up here. And what you need to do for Moodle is you have to zip those those pictures up into one file. And the way you do that is by right clicking over the folder and then going to send to and then left clicking on compressed zipped folder. And what that's going to do is it's going to take those six pictures and zip them up into a compressed file so they're just one file that Moodle is going to have uploaded to it. So this is my file that was created, Photo Gallery 1, and it's got the little zipper on it to know, tell me that it's a compressed file. And now I'm going to switch over to Moodle. And what I'll do is I'll scroll down to where we have the administration block and click on files under the administration block and I'm going to create a folder called images and what I'm doing that for is so that um, if I want to have more than one photo gallery like say have photo gallery 1, photo gallery 2 I'm just going to make sure that I load all of those into my images folder just to keep things nice and neat. So I'm going to click on the images folder so that I'm actually inside of it. And you can tell that by seeing that I'm at files, images. And now I'm ready to upload my file. So I click on upload a file. Then I will browse. And I'm going to go to my pictures. There's my file right there, Photo Gallery 1 with the zipper on it. And I will click on that, click on Open. And now it puts my file in the list there. So I will go ahead and say Upload this file by clicking on that. And now what it's done is it's moved this, this zipped file up into Moodle but it's not usable yet. I have to go over here to the right and click on unzip. And what that will do is it will unzip those files so that the individual photos are usable. I'll click on OK. Now it's created a folder and those folders in that folder, all my pictures that I just sent up are. I'm going to just click up to the parent folder. I don't really need this anymore, the zipped file, so I'm just going to check that and I'm going to go to delete completely. This isn't de this is just deleting the zipped file. It's not deleting all the files that I just unzipped. So I can go back into my photo gallery 1 and all my pictures are still there. So the next step is for me to go back to my course. So I'm just clicking on photo galleries to get back to my course. And I'm going to edit um, under a topic. So I'm going to choose the hand with the pen and click on that. And the easy way to actually do this is to create a table to format my pictures with. The, basically the table, each cell of the table is going to hold a picture. So I'll click on the table function and I have six pictures so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three rows and two columns. Normally I don't like to have this border thickness on so I just change that to zero. It makes it look a little cleaner. And then I click on OK. And now I have my little table that's two columns wide, three rows. And I click in the first cell. Then I can click on Insert Image.
and I can click on the images folder that I made, the photo gallery one, my first picture, farming two people. I click on that. You have to type in the alternate text, so I'm just going to type in farming, and I'll say OK. There's my first picture. Now I'm going to do my second picture by clicking in the cell next to it, going to insert image, going back into my images folder, my photo gallery one folder, and I'm going to pick the irrigation picture next. And I'll just type in irrigation, click OK. Now I've got my second picture. Do the same thing. I'm going to the next cell down, insert image. And I'm just clicking on images, photo gallery one. My next picture, man on trail. And so I'm just going to go through and click through them all. I've got just three more to do here. But as you can see, you just move down through your table and insert the next image. Now my next image is my apple. Type in my apple again. Click OK. Now I'm on my fifth one, so I'm in my fifth cell there, clicking on that. So my cursor's in it. And then I click on Insert Image. Click on Images, Photo Gallery 1. Red Canoe is my next picture. So I'm going to pick on Red Canoe, or type that in, I mean, and say OK. And now I'm to my last picture. I'm going to go ahead and click in that cell that's empty and insert image again. And then I just drill down until I'm in the right photo gallery. And I'll pick the tree root. Type that in, click OK, and now I have my six pictures all formatted in a photo gallery. And I can scroll down and click on Save Changes. And now when you look, I have a, a nicely formatted photo gallery. If I want to turn editing off just to take a look at what it looks like. Now I have a very nice photo gallery right there. Now if I wanted to actually do a photo gallery with captions, then what I would do is I would turn editing on and I'm going to go to edit this under photo gallery with captions. And I'm going to do the same function. I'm going to create a table um, and the difference this time is I'm going to have twice as many rows and the same amount of columns. And the reason I'm doing that is instead of three rows, I'm going to do six. I'm going to still do two columns. I'm going to do a border thickness of zero again just to make the table look nice. And click on OK. The reason I'm going to do that is because my first picture, I will go in and do just like we did before. I'll click on that, the insert image, and then I'll click on images, photo gallery one, farming two people, type in farming. The alternate text doesn't show up, it only shows up, um, it's really for showing up if the picture doesn't download or it also works for um, speech to text if uh, for people who need to, um, who can't see things, but the computer will read it off for them. So that's what the alternate text is for. So I'm going to click on OK. And now I have my picture in there. This time I can go beneath it and I can say farming 
two people as my caption by going into that cell just beneath it. Now I go to the cell next to it and again I'm going to continue to drill down through I'll get to irrigation. I'll type in irrigation. Click on OK. And now maybe I want to say this, just say um, a different name for the caption, like woman with plants. So you can name, you can put any caption you want in there. Then I would go to the next uh, cell below the caption, and I would click on Insert Image, and go to Images, Photo Gallery One, Man on Trail, like we did the last time. Click OK. put my next picture in and click on images photo gallery one my apple is the next picture type in the alternate text click OK now I can put my captions for that man on trail and my apple or maybe I say like man inspecting apple and then I'm not going to do the last two pictures because I think this shows how you can do it I'm going to go down and click save changes and now you can see the first one was the photo gallery without captions and now we have a photo gallery with captions. And depending upon how you do this, you could do uh, your captions to the left of the picture or the right of the picture. They could be below it or above the picture. It just depends on you how you want to set up your photo gallery with the table. Um, and I'll just go ahead and turn that in and off for a second so we can see what it's going to look like to the person who's just looking at it through the web and you can see the difference of how we can set that up. Um, that's basically it. That's how to set a, to create a simple photo gallery with Moodle and uh, happy Moodling.